The United States President Joe Biden promised that Russia, I quote, will not win, end of quote. The war in Ukraine during Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky visit to the White House. To help Ukraine win this war, the American president announced increased military aid without saying anything about allowing Kiev to use long-range missiles, mainly in the U.S., to strike Russia. Volodymyr Zelensky welcomed the announcement, saying it would help his country achieve victory in the war against Russia. In addition, Joe Biden called for a high-level summit in Germany, with the participation of 50 countries that are allies of Ukraine to coordinate efforts. Volodymyr Zelensky also held talks with Vice President and Democratic Party candidate Kamala Harris, who promises to continue the current president's policy towards Ukraine. And today he met with Republican candidate Donald Trump. At the same time in the morning, the Ukrainian president was received in Congress by the leaders of the Republican and Democratic parties in the Senate, Mitch McConnell and Chuck Schumer. This very important opportunity uh, to meet, and I'm grateful for the strong support from America for Ukraine, uh, which is saving the lives of our people and helping to defend our independence and freedom. Thank you. We see that freedom rests on the bipartisan resolve and unity of the United States. It's truly important for everyone in the world to witness this. And uh, we are at a crucial moment in this war with Kursk operation. We have shown that Putin does not have, does not have enough strength to hold on when we really apply pressure. And that's why, especially now, we need truly strong pressure and strong positions for Ukraine to force Russia towards peace. And we prepared the plan, urgent plan, how to strengthen us uh, on the way to on the way to victory. Amen to that. And Republican Senator Lindsey Graham called on U.S. President Joe Biden to allow Ukraine to fire Western weapons into Russian territory in order to force Putin to come to the negotiating table, actually. Well, the only way to bring Russia to the table is to hit them harder than we are hitting them today. Graham added that having permission to use long-range missiles to strike military targets, again, military targets, is the main request of the Ukrainian president According to the lawmaker, no amount of money will help unless Ukraine's ability to fight Russia is actually strengthened more effectively. He stressed that whoever the next U.S. president is, whether it's him or her, if Biden allows Ukraine to start hitting legitimate military targets to put pressure on Putin, he will be doing the next president a big favor. If Ukraine starts implementing its plan and is able to shoot deep into Russian territory, next year's war may end. With Ukraine's victory, the senator is convinced. If you let Putin shape policy, we will lose. When asked by journalists whether Putin could resort to escalation in this war in case of shelling deep into Russia with Western weapons, the senator replied that the Russian president should not be allowed to influence the policy regarding this war. He emphasized also that we are only talking about shelling exclusively military facilities in Russia. We're not talking about an invasion of Moscow. Well, what the senator does not say, and we speak.